I am Boba Fett, your new art teacher. What? Well, no, actually I'm just Daniel, a regular artist and YouTuber. But watching the book of Boba Fett has actually made me think about drawing at some point. Or practicing drawing for that matter. Now, getting straight to the point, Boba Fett himself probably wouldn't be a good art teacher. In the show he's just like... I am Boba Fett. And I am the Daimyo. Which is not really helpful, is it? And even when you think about the original Star Wars trilogy, pretty much all he says is... As you wish. He's no good to me dead. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. And that's really all he says, so that doesn't really tell us anything about how to draw or to learn drawing, right? But in the book of Boba Fett, his own TV show, there's one scene in particular that made me think of drawing. And this actually hasn't anything to do with Boba Fett himself, because it's the moment that the Mandalorian is trained by the armorer in the use of the Darksaber. The Mandalorian kinda can't keep up, the blade gets too heavy and he doesn't know what's going on and the armorer says one particular quote and she says persistence without insight will lead to the same result. Now what does that actually mean? It basically reminds me of a quote from Albert Einstein which says the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result which basically means in terms of drawing if you practice the same way over and over again and are expecting something different to happen you're insane, basically. And the keyword in the quote of the armor is inside. Now, as an artist, inside means if you've been practicing for some month or even years, you will probably have had some moments of enlightenment, basically, where you had trouble drawing a certain thing and at one point you just clicked and you realized your own errors and mistakes and from that point on you didn't make them anymore because you knew what you've been doing wrong all the time. And yes, practicing daily and practicing a lot, doing the same thing over and over again, yeah, that can sometimes lead to insight. But if you never practice the fundamentals, it will probably take you a lot longer than it would need to. So, Boba Fett says, Practice your fundamentals. For example, a few years ago, I was trying to learn drawing portraits. And I kept it really basic at first and just drew portraits straight on, without perspective or anything, just to focus on the proportions of the human face. And it worked quite well actually and I made some progress but I kept making several mistakes over and over again because one thing in particular I did was I drew the noses way too long and the lips too low. And at first I just didn't realize it but what I did was I scanned the images into my computer and laid them over the reference image and then I could just see oh man the nose is way too long all the time. And then in the next sketch I could really just pay extra attention to the nose area and well from then on that was my inside and then I never made that mistake again basically. The thing is this inside will come way faster if you practice your fundamentals. If you just draw faces all day but don't know the basic proportions of the head at all, well it will take you way longer to actually master drawing faces. Another important thing that comes to mind here is to not just draw from imagination all the time. Drawing from imagination is great and it's fun, but the thing is, you will basically do the same thing over and over again. When you're drawing, you're just projecting what's in your head onto the paper. And you will just be able to put to paper what's in your head, in your visual library. And if that's not developed enough, well, the quality of your drawings will never improve. So, Boba Fett says... Use reference images. One key to get better is to regularly draw from reference images because you're kind of feeding your brain with new information, new visual information that you can then later use in your drawings. Let's say you're drawing noses. The nose seems simple but it has quite some intricacies and little forms that you have to master and you can only really do that by drawing a lot from reference images because if you only draw like you think it looks all the time you will probably make several mistakes over and over again. But drawing a lot of different noses in different perspectives and different shapes from different kind of people, you will kind of get a feeling for how a nose really looks and fill up your visual library. That way your drawings will improve way faster than if you only drew from imagination all the time. But keep in mind the last lesson of Mr. Boba Fett, which is... Repetition is the mother of skill. Now, working on your fundamentals and using reference images is great, but you actually gotta do it. You actually gotta practice as often as you can, if not daily. If you just watch some random YouTube videos to study the fundamentals or read through some art books and then every now and then draw from some reference images, well, 
you will probably get better, but at a slow pace. To actually get better faster, you need to practice as often as you can. As simple as that sounds, it's really the truth. Repetition is the mother of skill. And even if you didn't work on your fundamentals and never used reference images, you would probably still get somewhat better just by practicing and drawing daily. It's just how it is. Doing something over and over again will make you better. You will just get better way faster if you work on your fundamentals and use reference images. And if you are currently at a point in your art journey where you feel like your art just isn't improving at all, watch this other video of mine where I tell you the five reasons why that is and what you can do about them. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.